Philippines defense will acquire Italian fighter bomber jets, frigates, and destroyer. Mr. Gizmin together with a team from the Department of National Defense's newly formed Acquisition Defense System ads, went to Italy to sign a five-year contract with that country's defense ministry for the acquisition of fighter bomber jets, a frigate, a destroyer and unmanned surveillance aircrafts, among others. Yasmin said the government is working on a near-marked peso 70 billion budget to boost the military's capability in territorial defense. U.S. no more bases like Southern Bay Clark in the Philippines. A senior U.S. official said despite the growing need to increase security engagement with the Philippines, the U.S. still does not plan to have permanent bases in the Philippines but remains committed to helping the country address internal security threats. Andrew Shapiro, State Department Assistant Secretary for Political and Military Affairs, said the Philippines' as internal security threat has now shifted from terrorism to maritime concerns as the country continues to raise concerns on the Chinese intrusions in the disputed island Zong, the West Philippine Sea South China Sea. During his visit to the Philippines, Shapiro met with senior officials from the Departments of National Defense and of Foreign Affairs to discuss measures on redirecting U.S. military assistance to address internal security threats. Shapiro said the traditional military assistance that the U.S. gave to the Philippines for fighting terrorism in Mindanao gave the country great successes as proven by the recent deaths of top bandit and terrorist leaders operating in the southern Philippines. Given the progress in addressing that threat terrorism, we can transition our support toward maritime security," said Shapiro in a press briefing on Friday with Manila-based journalists. Discussions focused on how to deepen partnerships and to work very closely for support to the Philippines as internal security and with their maritime security needs as well," said Shapiro. Shapiro said the U.S. Congress has recently approved transfer of U.S. military equipment Coast Guard Cutter that will further help in the Philippines' as maritime security needs. The U.S. also intends to increase humanitarian assistance in disaster areas. He reiterated that Washington does not intend to set up permanent bases in the Philippines amid recent decisions to strengthen military cooperation 